How's it going everybody? It's MD, the coldest guy in the scene, not really. Obviously you know what it is, Q&A. You've asked questions and I'm gonna answer them. So I'm, not, I'm gonna cut to the chase. Let's get into it. All right, so I've got the questions on this whiteboard here, so it'll be easy for me to read out the questions and I'm gonna answer them quickly for you. Uh, some of the answers will be long, so if I waffle, just move on to the next question, innit? Do you have a friend called Glem? Yes, I do. Yo, Glem, how have you been? If you're watching this video, um, good luck on your basketball um, academy and that. Uh, I'm praying that I'm praying that it goes well. I'm, I'm praying for you each day. Uh, stay blessed, man. Where do you see yourself in a year from now? Well, for starters, I'll be in year 13 in a year from now. Getting ready for A levels, trying to find a uni for me to apply to. But most importantly, in a year in a year from now, I'll probably be more close with God than ever before. Uh, from now, Amen. Obviously, God is good. Obviously, you know. My God is great. Like, there's no other God but the Lord Jesus Christ, and you already know. Come on now. Can I get an amen in the chat, man? You already know the thing. What keeps you going at your lowest? What keeps me going at my lowest? Do I need to answer that? Do I do I need to answer that question? Normally, I'll, I'll be honest. Before, before, if I was like low, I'll just like not do anything. I'll just sleep and hope for the best tomorrow. When I was at my lowest, back in october i was like i didn't know what to do and then i just went back to god and then by the grace of god i've been healed by him and um yeah so every time i'm at my lowest or every time i don't feel good i just come back to god i just pray to god and then yeah and then I, he heals me and then i feel good again like you know and he can do the same for you guys just give him a chance in it what's your favorite bible verse well, um, I know quite a few. I've known more verses this past month than I did uh, this whole year in general. But my favorite Bible verse is Ephesians 5.20. And this is the same Bible verse I used on my cake on my birthday when I, when I turned 16. The Bible verse goes like this. Always giving thanks to the Lord Jesus Christ, isn't it? Literally, that verse is so powerful because literally whatever you do in your life, whether it's you have a match, you do something important let's say you're doing music you're 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 having a music career you're doing a youtube career whatever you do and if it's whatever you do you just have to give thanks and that's why ephesians 5 20 is like literally my favorite verse like till this day it's still my favorite verse in it when are you coming to the uk wait who asked this question who wrote this question i mean um you do know i'm in the uk right i mean I'm pretty sure you knew that, but like, why would you? Anyways, moving on. When is the part two of the football video coming out? Uh, right, um, I promise you, I was planning to do uh, another football video. In fact, I was meant to do it in the summer, like the summer that I just went, the summer I had like 11 weeks off because of my GCSEs. However, because the weather wants to do me so dirty, the weather wants to do rain, rain, rain for July, August and part of September. I promise you another football video. Me and Kate are working on that. You can even ask Kate. I even did talk to him about that. But a football video will be coming soon, maybe next year, hopefully. I have spoken to Kay about this. He said he's, he wanted to do a football video, but... Um, beforehand, uh, I think it was in July, but I was busy at the time. But we are, we are working on that. I promise. What is the weirdest thing you've seen in real life? Oh, that's a, oh, that's a good question. Oh, oh, that's a question. Ooh. That is a good question. What the weirdest thing I've seen in real life? I've seen many weird things. What's the weirdest? Oh no, I can't even choose. Wait. I can't even wait. I need to think about this. The weirdest thing I've seen. In real life is oh wait what the Okay, I okay. I don't know if it's the weirdest thing I've seen in real life, but what I'm about to say, it'll, it, it's like one of the weirdest I've seen. I don't know if it's the weirdest, but just take what I'm about to say with a grain of salt. A couple of years ago, I think 2021, 2021 or like, 
No, end of 2021. It was definitely end of 2021. I came back from school. I got off a bike at Metro. And then I went upstairs to see if there was check-ins because I didn't have a ticket. And um, there was check-ins. So obviously, um, if you may or may not have seen, there's like at the end of the bike of Metro on one specific side, there's like this place you can climb over to get to Shields Road. So that's exactly what I did. When I got there, there was there was a big woman, white, blonde, the generic white woman. I'm sorry, it's true though. And then she was just, she was sitting there and um, how do I say this? How do I say this? She was squatting and then underneath that squat was liquid. I'll let you figure out what she did. How do you start making YouTube videos? Well, um, that's a good question, yeah. Um, start, when I start making YouTube, I try to find inspiration or try to find something that I think, oh, that would be a good content for me to do. So no, so normally before I make any YouTube videos, I, I write, I have like, like, like a thing where I just think, oh, what would be your best YouTube video? Or maybe I see something on YouTube already and I think, oh, it would be a good idea if I tried that. And then I make the video. Obviously, obviously it comes from inspiration or doing the things that I like, isn't it? Obviously, so if I find inspiration to make a video, then I'll make the video. If it's if it's good, who knows? If it's horrendous, you'll let me know it's horrendous, obviously, because obviously you might not brutal when it comes to like criticism when it comes to criticism backlash you guys are brutal i've seen the brutality of uh, let me just anyways but yeah it just comes from inspiration when i make youtube videos but how do you start though how do you start just find inspiration that's what i'll say for people for people who you want to start making videos find just find inspiration or just simple as simple simple but effective explanation get a phone or a camera press record and just record what you want simple like that i cannot explain it better than that do you have advice for people who want to create content i mean i'm not really a big content creator i only have like 764 subscribers and counting but what i would say is just create content that you really really enjoy and that you think will benefit other people watching the video so for me right now ever since october 14th i've been making videos um promoting christ and talking about my relationship with christ although it doesn't get the most amount of views um or the most amount of likes it's still content that i like creating and that i think that it could benefit other people who are willing to watch it or who are willing to learn my point of view on stuff when it comes to creating your own content it's, it's not really all about oh, how many views it will get or how many likes it will get. Yes, the view, yes, it getting views promotes the video even more to other people who may not come across your channel, yes. But realistically, it's all about, it's literally all about what you like creating and what you think it'll be good for other people. If you, if you make a video and you think, would other people like to see it? And if the answer is no, then making that video really isn't f for you do you know what i mean if the video you're about to create you think this could help someone then go for it create the video i, I would i would support that 100 if you create the content that you like and people are making fun of it then that's their own problem that's their own like why should you care about what other people think that they they're, they're embarrassing themselves for making fun of you for creating what you like so if someone's making fun of you for what you what you like creating on YouTube, don't don't feel bad about it. Don't just don't feel bad about it. Just ignore them. Just focus on you. It's not about them, it's about you. If you like what you're creating, then continue creating it. If people are making fun of it because they don't want to see you grow, ignore them. Just ignore them. I know it's hard to ignore uh, a lot of a lot of um, people who make fun of people's videos obviously. I know it's hard but just remember, it's not about them, it's about you. What you do matters. What they think, it doesn't matter because their opinions are meaningless to you. You dig? Are you likely to become a famous YouTuber? I don't, I honestly, I don't know. I honestly don't know. I would like to be a famous YouTuber, a famous uh, influencer, a person who influences, but if God doesn't want that for me, then it doesn't happen. But if God wants it to happen, if God makes it happen, then it happens. It's on his timing and his timing alone. It's not, I can't really force 
myself to be a famous YouTuber and it's not really about the fame or the views. It's not really about that. I don't really care. I used to care. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I used to care about getting like a thousand or uh, a million subscribers back then. But now that I think about it, fame and fame, money and well, yeah, fame, money and views. It doesn't really matter because like at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you're still a, you're still a person like you could be the most famous guy in the world but you're still a human. You're still a human being with the same life as everyone else. So that fame, what, what, what else are you gaining besides being known to more people? You understand? Do you still talk to people that you went with in primary? Yeah, I, I still have, I still keep contact with a, um, a few people who went to my primary. Some are in my sixth form now. So yeah, there are a few people who I still think about, but I haven't really kept contact with them per se, but they're still in my thoughts that I still remember them. But yeah, I do still keep in contact with people who have went to my primary or people who I've known for a really, really long time. There was someone who I knew for 12 plus years who I've just met like a couple of hours ago. Um, thing you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I, I still keep in contact. Why are you so religious all of a sudden? You see, I don't really, mm, what, how the question was asked to me. I know I know what they're trying to say, because obviously ever since my encounter with the Holy Spirit, I've been posting more uh, content about Christ, more stuff about Christ, posting Bible verses, posting Bible study. But religious isn't the right word. I haven't became a religious person. I became a person who is following Christ. When you talk about religion, you're talking about rules, regulations and like laws so you're talking about laws rules regulations that's religion but in the bible um i'll pop the verse right here in the bible it says without jesus it's impossible to please god without christ in you without christ in your life without having that faith in christ it's impossible to please God. No matter how good I am, no matter how many times I go to church, no matter how many times I pray, if I, if I don't have that faith, that proper faith in Christ, what's the point in doing anything if, if it means that God won't be pleased with me? That's why I don't think religion is the right word. But I have been more faithful in Christ ever since ever since last month and i'm and i don't regret it at all whatsoever yeah i just thank christ that um he's managed to lift me up and give me another chance uh after how many times i keep falling down and keep singing keep sinning so yeah praise be to the most time man right this is going to be the last question and i have to sign off for now what do you do to help your physical and mental state um come to god and pray simple as that if i'm going through something physical or mental and i don't know what to do about it obviously i'll obviously i'll ask my parents i'll, I'll go to my parents if needed and ask them what to do i'll go to friends ask them for advice but most importantly i'll ask i'd ask advice for god by praying meditating on his word and just seeking his voice in it so my main answer is like praying to god in it and just asking what i should do in this matter if it's if it's something really concerning me if you know what i mean all right that's all the questions um i hope you i hope i've cleared things up for you if you've liked the video like subscribed hit post notifications so you don't miss a single content that i'm posting and i'm gonna sign off now with that being said i'll see you lovely people in a bit god bless you and see you next time in a bit <laughs>